Hey, John Lewis, AppliancerepairHero.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how I take a dryer that looks something like this and turn it into something more like this. It's going to be fun, so check it out. Watch it all the way through. Uh, also, all the products that I use in this video will be in the description down below. And uh, So enjoy watching, and let's get to it. Usually with these dryers, the tops are the, in the worst shape. When you have one as bad as this one, like there's uh, obvious huge scratches in here. I mean, I'm I might get forty dollars, maybe fifty bucks for it as is. But just by painting it and cleaning it up, I can double my my profits, and it doesn't take a ton amount of time. Um, if you enjoy painting, it's kind of fun too. So uh, we're gonna clean this up and uh, get some of this junk off of here and just uh, paint it and we'll show you how we get it painted. Um, so if you're doing it for yourself, cool. If you're doing it to flip, then awesome. But here we go. We're gonna uh, start with sanding. Um, another thing we're gonna do is remove the, um, the control panel here so we can get underneath there, get all that dirt and grime under there. Basically, most of them have a Phillips head on both sides you just got to unscrew that and then you could just move it forward and it pops off and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick dusty rusty mess and the way this looks there's so much rust on this I don't know what happened with this dryer but we're gonna be cleaning up some of this rust in here as well sand that down um, it's like this a dryer was near some humidity or something or in a wet really wet basement or something but anywho we'll uh, get this cleaned up and start sanding it up I'm going to start off with 120 grit sandpaper, uh, much better than trying to do it by hand. And uh, should you wear a mask, do as I say, not as I do, because uh, I'm just going to use my shirt. <laughs> So I use, uh, I have a container, just put aluminum foil on it so I can reuse it multiple times. Uh, four inch roller, and uh, that will be in the description below, but um, also this is the paint that I use, Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. I like to use the roll-on paint because uh, the spray stuff just doesn't seem to work for me. So this is what I recommend. Again, link is down in the description. 
Um, I'm going to get this going here. you know questions you want to you're interested in flipping appliances or anything like that go ahead and click the link below for more information um, and also uh, I'm gonna have a video a follow-up video to this video and I'm gonna let you know how much I got out of this appliance by selling it so go ahead and click that link and check it out um, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of the video mm -hmm.